really excellent predators, but instead of using vision to see their surroundings, they use their voices. So they make what we call vocalizations or calls. They are in the ultrasonic range, so humans cannot hear them. These are very high-pitched calls, and these calls bounce off of everything in the environment, prey, vegetation, and with the echoes that they're hearing, they build their acoustic scene. In their brain, they are able to estimate where the target will be before the target is even there to adjust their aim and be ready to keep tracking the target as it moves. So we did all our experiments in the dark because contrary to what some people think, bats are not blind, they can see. They're just much better at echolocating and building their surroundings like that because they are night hunters, so there isn't a lot of light when they're, they're hunting. So we did this in complete darkness using infrared cameras to be able to see them and see how they were positioning their heads. They were high speed cameras so we could capture very small movements of the head at very high rate. And we also recorded their vocalizations in the ultrasonic range. The thing that did surprise us is that they keep using these predictive targets even when the trajectories get more complex and or when they might lose the target behind an occluder, which is something that could happen in the wild. You can imagine a moth flying and that's the prey and it goes behind a branch of a tree. The bats keep trying to anticipate where the target will come out, so that was, that was interesting. We did find that when things like this happens or the prey changes direction or changes velocity, the bats increase their vocalization rate and we think that they do this to try to update the information that they're getting and try to improve those models that they're building. I'm very interested in how bats process acoustic information. Bats not only have to contend with their vocalizations and the echoes from their vocalizations, but they also produce a wide array of communication calls and they tell each other things like, stay away from my food, or I am looking for a mate, or mom, come back to the roost. These are just an array of things that they tell each other. And all these calls are happening also in the ultrasonic range. And in some cases might even acoustically overlap with the echolocation calls. I I just want to make the case for bats as an excellent model to study auditory processing and uh, neuroscience. They're mammals, so their brains are very similar to ours. They can really give us insights into how we process auditory signals.